Hello Blender friends and welcome to the first Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. This tutorial is aimed at just teaching you the basics of the Blender interface and editing objects. Uh, this is a remake tutorial of one I made previously on Blender. Uh, this is geared towards Blender 2.5 which has yet to be released. It has a completely redesigned interface so I thought I'd I'll uh, redo the tutorial so you know where everything is. Um, this is kind of geared towards both Blender users uh, that have some experience with the software and people who have never used Blender before. I'll kind of be pitching to uh, both audiences. Um, for the people who have never tried Blender before, I'll be teaching um, and everything they need to know in these next uh, series of tutorials and those who have already tried Blender before and know how to use it. Um, this tutorial can be helpful uh, just to see what things have changed from previous releases of Blenders to this new Blender 2.5 with the completely redesigned interface. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to open up Blender here. I just have to give it a second to pop up. And ta-da! Nice little splash screen. As you can see, it's Blender 2.5 Alpha. Uh, just click to get rid of that splash screen. I'm going to make this uh, full screen here. Alright, so first thing when you open up Blender, uh, for those who have used it before, you can notice that the uh, interface is completely different. Um, and even the, this is the default 3D space right in here. Uh, as you can see, this is a 3D cube. Um, this over here is a camera, uh, which we'll use later to make renders, basically just uh, pictures of our scene here. And this is a light source here that shines on these objects. Now, if you used Blender before, you remember that uh, the default space here, you're actually just looking from a top view uh, of this cube. You're looking from the top down on this cube here. But now with Blender 2.5, you see that this is a 3D area here. Kind of get a side perspective. So we're going to clean this up here. I'm just going to hit View, uh, Toolbar. We're not going to need that toolbar, so let's just make that a little bit larger. Now like I was talking before for the beginning uh, users, there's several views um, that you can look at while you're editing and such, which we'll get into later tutorials. But if we go down here to this button that says View, and you click on that, uh, you have uh, some different uh, options right here. Um, in previous Blender versions, uh, it said like a side, front, top, and camera. Um, this is an alpha release, so I don't know uh, if that's supposed to say those uh, yet, but they work just fine. So if you click here, this view numpad, numpad 3, um, it kind of transitions. I don't know if you saw that, but it transitions um, from the default view. I'm holding Alt and uh, left clicking to just grab a point and rotate the entire scene. Um, if you can actually see that, I'll move this up a, a little bit so it's, oh, whoops. Um, just hit numpad 3 and it's kind of hard to catch that, um, but it transitions, which it didn't do in previous versions. So for beginning it, uh, Blender users, you can go through here you can hit uh, numpad 3, numpad 1. Uh, this one, numpad 1, gives you a front view. Uh, numpad 7, or that button right there, gives you a top view. So you're looking from the top down. Uh, see a light source here, the camera that we had before. I'm using this uh, middle mouse button to scroll, to zoom in and out. So that's our cube there, that's our light source, that is our camera. If we hit uh, numpad 0, or this last option here, transitions to uh, what the camera sees. And when we're 
uh, getting into later tutorials will actually be able to uh, render that out as a nice pretty picture. Alright, so that's just the basics there. So let's go back into uh, that first option there. Hit Alt, left mouse button, kind of get out to the side here. So we have, this is called an object right here, this thing with this orange line around it. Uh, this is a cube, and we call it an object. So I'm going to zoom in with my middle mouse button, and I'm going to show you some things you can do. So the first thing you can do is hit the G key um, on your keyboard, and you can move the cube uh, up, down, side to side, uh, wherever you want it in the 3D space. And I'm just going to click there. That's just a left mouse button click uh, to place it there. I'll hit Control Z to undo it. Uh, then we can also uh, rotate things. So if we hit the R key, you can rotate this all the way around. And I'll just hit Control Z again. And we can also scale things or make them bigger or smaller. So that's S. We can make it bigger. So big that we're inside the cube or smaller. And I'll hit just uh, Control Z to get out of that. So that's just the basics of the Blender interface. So let's uh, kind of test out these skills with uh, just a basic model, nothing fancy. So let's go in here, view, second option, zoom out a bit, zoom in a bit, Let's hit this S key, make it a little bit smaller. Now if you hit Shift and D, you will duplicate that object. And we can just move it up. Shift D again. Move that up a little bit. And then we're gonna basically we're just gonna make uh, legs of a cube man here. I'm just hitting Shift D. And it all automatically goes into the grab mode, uh, or when you hit the G key. And I'm just moving these around here. See, these are the legs of our cube man. So then we can hit Shift D, move this to the top, hit the S key, make this a lot bigger, hit the G key, move that down. Then I'm hitting Shift plus Alt to kind of go up in our perspective here. Select one of these, Shift D, put that on top. Uh, let's test out our Rotate R to rotate that. Shift D. I'm just right clicking on that and hitting Shift D. Right clicking. Shift D, right clicking, Shift D, and that should be good. So, with only a few minutes, we've created <laughs> kind of ugly, but it's alright for our first uh, creation in Blender. And it's just a basic human. So, I hope you've learned uh, some, th some stuff from that tutorial. Uh, just the basics of uh, Blender, if you i uh, never tried it before, and if you're an experienced uh, user, you can see uh, kind of stuff that has changed. Um, you can always go to mystic.com, that's N-Y-S-T-I-C.com, just think of it as mystic with an N. Uh, there's a link to it in the video description. Uh, that's the official site for this tutorial series. Uh, we have a blog. Um, we have, here's the blog here. Dragon Con, uh, have all the tutorials posted as soon as they're made, some of the stuff I've made, uh, just an interesting uh, blog that you might want to follow. Um, also have the tutorials, if you just click on that Blender 3D tab, uh, we have all the tutorials, you can download the files, as you can see there's many more tutorials uh, available here, you can download the uh, source video, so if you want it in a higher quality than YouTube offers, 
um, we have that I have a DVD that I'm making informational DVD so so many things uh, on the site uh, that you can do uh, if you're a new blender uh, you, should, you definitely want to check out the form which is form.nistic.com there's also a link to all of this in the video description uh, you can go here just to ask any questions you may have uh, if you're stuck on something uh, you want to figure out how to do something uh, this is a great place to go and ask there's tons of uh, blender users here plus there's uh, contests and collaborative projects that you can work on so this is a really great place to go or if you just want to talk we have an off topic section as well so this is uh, Super 3 Boy signing out I hope I uh, help those new uh, blender users kinda figure out what this blender thing is and uh, you experience users figure out kinda where the uh, interface is headed if you haven't downloaded the alpha release already alright well I will see you guys in the next tutorial and uh, happy blendering